last day of the women's heptathlon and second place getter, um, Brianne Tyson Eaton, congratulations, you must be thrilled. I'm really happy. I, you know, I couldn't have competed much better than I did and I gave every last bit of effort. So it was a good two days and I'm really happy with where I placed. The conditions were perfect, weren't they, for the field events? And, and do you think that made a difference in terms of the high scores we were seeing in the heptathlon? I think maybe a little bit. You know, we only had one event, the javelin, this afternoon where we were in the sun and it got a little hot, and that's unheard of. You know, this, this stadium is very nice for blocking wind and giving shade, so the conditions couldn't have been better. We've been saying that all along. And it all seemed to come down to the line for the 800 metres, and everyone in that last um, race did a personal best time. How difficult is it, is it coming into a last event knowing you have to do an amazing run to actually get through? You know, it's it's a little bit scary, but at the same time, it's a position you want to be in. You know, having to run for to try to get the gold medal. I would rather be in that position than not being on the podium. So it's stressful, but it's worth it. And is it a great support to you having your husband, Ashton, who you married less than four weeks ago, um, at your side and, and helping you with your training? Do you guys train a lot together? Yeah, we train every day together. And just having him here, you know, he... He co helped coach me in this meet. You know, sometimes as an athlete, you might be able to say something a little bit differently. And he, he provides a lot of excitement for me and pumps me up and calms me down. And it's really great having him here. Time for a honeymoon now? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the honeymoon is going home and laying on the couch for three weeks. <laughs> well, congratulations. Thank you.